What if I were to tell you that your life and the world that you're living in is actually a movie? That you're living in a movie right now that you wrote the scripts for yesterday. So everything happening in your world today, you actually wrote that script. You wrote the script for everyone in your world because the world is you pushed out. So it's actually a movie that you're screenwriting yourself. But I'm here to tell you that you can change it. You just weren't conscious of what you were screenwriting because you didn't have the awareness. So I'm here to teach you and, and train you on how to acknowledge this power that you have within you on how you can rewrite your script for tomorrow because it's never too late. It's never too late to change the mirror that you're looking in. Because essentially what you're looking at with your world is just a mirror, but it's a mirror that you are creating, reflecting back to you what your concept of self is, what your identity is but you're writing and scripting that movie based on how you observe your world. Because as quantum physics shows, the way that you observe your world changes it, but how you observe your world is based on your concept of yourself. So if you change your concept of yourself, looking into the mirror, there will be a different reflection. It's the dual nature of consciousness that actually makes the changes. There's a conscious part and a subconscious part. And as you make new conscious impressions, with your concept of self, you are now reprogramming the subconscious mind for a different movie to play tomorrow. So right now, I want you to begin to just feel yourself into a new state. Feel yourself into a new state of you now living in the world that you want to live in and erase everything. Erase all of your beliefs. Erase everything because you are a limitless being and you have the potential to do anything that you want. And you are, you are now brand new to the world. Now capture this feeling with me right now. And you will notice that you're, that you're instantly viewing and observing your world differently, differently because you have now shifted your concept of yourself. In that moment that you felt that, that, you, that everything in your world is just a movie, it's a simulation that you wrote yesterday based on your concept of self and that you're actually a limitless being. As soon as you felt that, you observed your world differently and you actually shifted fractionally in the multiverse and you're actually screenwriting a different movie to play tomorrow. But the trick to this is to be consciously aware and present as you're falling asleep at night. So you have to, you have to notice what your thoughts are as you're falling asleep, like remembering, try to remember the very last thought you had before you fell asleep and to catch yourself because that's when you're screenwriting. That's when you're screenwriting for the, for the following day and the following weeks and the following years. What is your inner dialogue doing as you're falling asleep? What is it thinking about? What's going on? What are you feeling? Are you going through the day about negative things that happen to you and reacting to those things when you're not even aware of that, when you're not even conscious of it? What are you thinking about as you're falling asleep? And this is what is screenwriting your world for tomorrow because it's all an observation based on your inner dialogue and your concept of self. And if your concept of self were to change, then your inner dialogue is going to change and those thoughts are going to change and what those, and what those thoughts are creating, what feeling states those are creating, and what the, the, the images that are being created in your imagination from those thoughts, what is that creating as you're falling asleep? So there's always a good portion that people aren't aware of presently and consciously of what they're thinking about as they're falling asleep. And this is the most important. This is when you're screenwriting for your movie tomorrow because you are absolutely, in fact, in a movie, in a simulation right now. And it's all being projected from inside of you. And everything that's happening to your world, in your world right now, is based on that. It, you can change it. Anything in your world, you can change it. You can, you can absolutely change anything that's going wrong in your world. So as you're going to sleep at night, this is what I want you to do. I want you to try to catch yourself and remember the very last thought you had before you went to sleep and that's going that that last thought is going to determine why your life is the way that it is and if you can catch yourself with that last thought and see what it is you will find the primary issue in your life that you're having right now it's going to be based on that feeling state from that inner dialogue from the pictures from that thought that was captured and you were holding on to as you went into the drift, as you impressed the subconscious mind. So just being consciously aware of what that thought is, is going to tell you 
everything about your life. And what you will find from this exercise as well is that it, it will help you improve on what you're screenwriting for tomorrow. So as you're observing this and trying to catch yourself with these thoughts in your mind, you are then training yourself to change feeling states, to change thoughts, to change what you're screenwriting for your movie for tomorrow. Now you're gonna be in the mind or the, the conscious mind of being observant of what you're falling asleep with. So now you have shifted your identity just by doing this. So when you do this, you have become a different person, someone that is self-observant, someone that is self-conscious of what you are thinking about. So then this will dovetail and create a different version of you tomorrow. So during the day, you're also going to start doing this habitually. You're going to impress a subconscious mind with this new version of you that is now monitoring all of your thoughts. So now you're going to be unintentionally screenwriting a movie or habitually screenwriting a better movie for tomorrow and next week. If you just were to never apply any of these principles and just know them, your life is going to remain exactly the same. Because as you react to different things that you don't want to happen in your world and you don't make any conscious changes of, or observing your thoughts and actually doing these exercises, you're going to continue to think your world is real. You're going to you're going to continue to react to your world as it is just like and, and as, as you react to different things in your world and think that they're real, they'll keep being recreated. You're planting more seeds. So if something negative happens to you and you react to that, you become emotionally charged. You plant another seed for tomorrow for something similar to that happening again because you're like my world is real i am reacting to this this thing has my attention so then you're then it, those seeds are planted and then they keep on happening in your world kind of like watching a youtube video if you don't like the youtube video you're not going to hit the subscribe button you're not going to hit the thumbs up and you're not going to leave a comment so essentially that's what you're doing when you become emotionally charged about something negative that happens in your world you are subscribing to that you are hitting the thumbs up to that video that you do not like. So do not become emotionally charged about and hold your attention on things you don't like because the moment that you become emotionally charged about something in your world, you are hitting the subscribe and you are hitting the like and then the, the algorithm or the subconscious mind picks that up and then it puts that video in front of you every day and forces you to watch it and you just keep reacting to it and then you keep hitting subscribe to new channels that are similar to that and then eventually that's all you have on your feed are things that you do not want in your world so do not become emotionally charged do not react to these and know that your world is a simulation it's a movie that's being that you are actually screenwriting yourself and this is how you are screenwriting it. this is how you're screenwriting it by what you react to what you don't react to and what you fall asleep with at night and what's your what's your last thought before you go to sleep and how are you reacting to things throughout the day during the day learn not to hold your attention on these negative things because you know now that those that's why they keep happening that's a very very powerful motivation for you to not hold your attention on things that you don't like re readjust your your thoughts and if it's something so negative about a person in your life revise a scene recreate an observation that you have of that person Play a scene over in your mind where this person is now someone totally different and they're actually congratulating you and they're just they're telling you about how they've changed their lives and they're no longer this person. And so you change your observation of that person and then that will reflect a different concept of yourself into your world and then the mirror changes. And visualizing scenes and changing your observation and, and being aware of the last thought before you go to sleep at night and what you're reacting to throughout the day. So I will go over further details and further exercises. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe because this is what you want in your feed. Subscribe, turn the notifications on because you want more exercises like this if this is something that you want to change. If you want to create a new movie, subscribe to what you want to see more because you're holding your attention onto this in your world. So you're going to get more of this in your world, more exercises to where you can be trained to navigate and control and, and write a script for a movie that you want to be in can completely change. Once you start changing the algorithm, you start, you, you stop subscribing to these channels. You're going to start unsubscribing to these channels, start changing that. And they're going to start dropping off your feed. And then you're going to learn what to react to, which are things that you want. And then those are going to start popping up on your screen. And you're going to be turning the notifications on. You're going to be subscribing to this now. So now this is going to be popping up on your feed. And remember, whatever you do, do not go to sleep angry or frustrated or feeling lack and doubt of disbelief. 
change those things and observe your thoughts and at the very least fall asleep to the card on the screen. I'm going to put a sleep meditation that can truly assist and change your feeling states as you're falling asleep because that's the most important time. That's the most important time. I'm going to put a card on the screen to a free meditation, a sleep meditation that's absolutely going to assist you as well as creating and writing a new script for tomorrow. But it's going to be your job, what you react to and what you're subscribing to throughout the day. But fall asleep to the sleep meditation and try to remember the last thought you had. All right, that's the end of this video. I love you guys. And don't forget to give me one thing you are grateful for. And I will see you in the next one.